Now let's look at how to draw these different shapes in Scratch. Once you open your Scratch browser, you can see there is a button here. If you click this button, we will see all kinds of different extensions we can use in Scratch. So let's choose Paint. These are the actual commands we can use. Since we are drawing, we don't want to use a cat. I'm going to use a pen. Oh, fantastic. We have a pencil here. Just want to make it a little bit smaller. So how are we going to draw? First line is, of course, when green flag is clicked. Let's say we want to draw a square first because it's easier. To draw a square, we need to draw a line. We turn 90 degrees and we do this four times. So we go to control, repeat four times. And every time we will move, let's say we want to move 50 steps. And we will turn left 90 degrees. Now, if I click the green flag here, nothing is drawn because we haven't put down the pen. So go to pen, pen down. Okay, now try again. Okay, we have a square here, but I kind of don't like the pencil to be here to block the square. So what we can do is we can go to looks. Before we draw, we can hide the pencil. Now we have a nice square. What if I want to draw a triangle? Maybe we can try a equilateral triangle first. We will draw three lines and they will appear as a triangle. So go to control, repeat three times. Every time I'm going to draw a line, let's make the triangle a little bit bigger. So I'll move 100 steps. And we need to turn. For an equilateral triangle, every inner angle is 60 degrees. So we need to turn 120 degrees to draw the second one. So let's try. We have a square, we have a triangle, but they kind of overlap. So before we draw the triangle, we need to move to a different location. So let's change X and change Y. See, we want to change X by 100, change Y by 100. Click the green flag again. Hmm, how come we have two triangles? That's because we didn't erase what was left before we draw again. So go to pen, we do erase all before we draw. So let's try again. Oh, we can't really see it. Okay, because it keeps on going to the top right corner and start drawing. So before we draw, we need to set. I always want to set the drawing to start from zero, zero. And I'm going to point the direction to be 90 degrees. I always start from the center facing right before I draw. So let's try again. Okay, now we have a square and a triangle, but there is a line in between. This line is because once we finish drawing the square, we are moving to the new location. Remember, we change X and change Y both by 100. When we move to the new location, a line was left on the screen. So if we don't want this line, we can go to pen and we do a pen up. So after we finish drawing the square, we do a pen up and then we move to a new location. So let's do again. Where's my triangle? Oh, once we do pen up, go to a new location, we need to pen down before we draw the triangle. So pen down here. Let's try again. Okay, so we have a square and we have a triangle. But this code is a little bit long. We can go to my blocks, make a block, draw triangle, okay. which means I'm going to take the code to draw a triangle. I'm going to put it under this block. Now here, instead of putting the code to draw the triangle, I'll just put the name of my block, draw triangle. We can do the same for the square. So make another block, draw square. Okay, we have a draw square here. And this is where we draw the square. I'll put it here. Now I'll replace it with draw square. Now let's do this again. There are many benefits using blocks. First, 
it keeps your code easier to read. So I know this is triangle, this is square, so I'm going to do something, I draw square, do something, I draw triangle. Another benefit is that now we have a name to draw the triangle. So every time we want to draw triangle, we just use the name of this block instead of putting all the code. So let's say we want to draw another triangle, maybe on the bottom right corner. So I will change Y by minus 200. So I'm going down. Right, before that, I need to do a paint up. Go down. Then paint down. Then I'll go to my blocks. I'll draw another triangle. So let's run this. We have two different triangles, but I want them to be all use different colors. So you can go to pen. You can either change pen color by a certain number or you can set a different pen color. So what we can do is before I draw, I want to set a different pen color. I want to use red color. Then when I draw the first triangle, I want to change pen color by let's see, I want to change pen color by 50. Now before we draw the second triangle, we want to change pen color by 30. Okay, now let's try again. We have all these three in different colors. What if we want to draw a circle? We draw a little bit, we turn a bit, we draw a little bit, we turn a bit. So let's do another block. Draw a circle. Okay, draw a circle. So let's say we want to draw as nice as possible. Every time we'll just turn one degrees. And we need to do this 360 times. So we'll go to control, repeat 360 times. And every time I'm going to move by one step and also turn by one degree. Okay, let's see. I want to go to a different location. Mm, now we are here. So we want to draw at um, the bottom left corner here. So we're going to change X. Change X by minus 200. And similarly, before we change, we need to do paint up. After we change, we need to paint down. Let's use a different color as well. So um, I'll set color. Let's set color this time. Maybe this time I want to use a blue color. Then go to my blocks. We'll draw a circle. Okay, let's try this. You can see the circle is drawn here, but it's a bit slow because every time we only move one unit, we turn one degree. If you want to draw faster, you can move like 10 steps You every time we turn 10 degrees. So the circle won't be as nice as what we have just drawn, but you can draw a lot faster. At this time, we don't need to repeat 360 times. We only need to repeat. 36 times because every time we turn 10 degrees, 10 times 36 is already 360. So let's do it again. You can see this time the circle is a lot faster. Okay, so now we have three blocks draw triangle, draw square, draw circle, and we have this long code. What if I don't want these very simple shapes? I want to draw um, a spiral. So what we can do is, I'll delete all this. We don't need this anymore. So draw square. We have a draw circle. I'll make another block. Draw spiral. Draw spiral is basically to draw many circles. Draw one circle, move a little bit, draw another circle. So draw spiral. Inside this draw spiral block, I can use other blocks. So uh, inside this draw spiral, I'm actually drawing many circles every time I move a little bit. So I'll go to control, repeat. Let's see, I want to repeat 10 times. Every time I'm going to draw a circle. But once I draw the circle, I need to move a little bit, right? So go to motion. 
see I want to turn 10 degrees and then I want all these circles to be different colors so I'll go to pen I'll change pen color by 10 so I'll draw one circle turn 10 degrees I'll change the pen color a bit then I'll go back to draw another circle so I'll do this 10 times okay. so here instead of a draw square we will change it to draw spiral okay let's try again first circle second circle so we are drawing many different circles I'm going to repeat this 10 times so we're going to draw 10 circles okay. so that's 10 circles what if you want to draw a lot more let's say I want to draw maybe 36 circles okay. because every time I turn 10 degrees if I draw 36 circles it should make all the circles should complete another circle so let's try this okay so just nice we have a nice pattern here okay. of course you can change the different numbers here to make the pattern different now let's create two other blocks for triangle and square as well so make a block I'll do draw many triangles I want to draw triangle and then after triangle and make one round draw many triangles inside the draw many triangles we're going to have a loop inside the loop we're going to draw a triangle and we turn certain degrees we will continue to draw another one we will draw eight triangles every time we're going to turn 45 degrees so 45 times 8 that is 360 just one round I'll do another block draw many squares we need a loop we need to draw a square and we need to turn certain degrees let's do 12 squares so every time we turn 36 degrees okay so let's rearrange this after drawing the spiral we're going to draw the triangle and the square and since we're going to have three patterns so I want to move the spiral to the left minus 100 and I want to make the triangle smaller so I'll just move 50 steps okay so after drawing the spiral go to pen pen up And the many triangle we want to draw it at the top left corner so we'll change x by 200 change y by 100 and we want to use a different color maybe I want to use yellow color okay then paint done and draw many triangles so let's move this further okay. then pen up again I'll go to the bottom left corner so I'll change Y by minus 200 this time I want to use purple color Pen down and draw many squares. Okay. The other thing we can do is to change the backdrop. I will prefer to use a black background. Okay, so you can choose the color here. Change it to black. Click the bucket. Click here. It will change to black color. So it has already started drawing. So let's do it again. We finish the spiral, we finish the, the triangle, then the square. That's all today. Subscribe to our channel to watch more tutorials. See you next time.